Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and today we're gonna do a rotating bubble shield or an uh, object orbiting another thing or, or a circular motion, a protective rotating spawn, whatever you want to call that thing. Basically what you're seeing uh, on the screen with the player just moving around and then this these bubbles are just well, rotating around and then of course you can respawn them. Today we're just gonna do well this part. If you want to know the rest, link in the description below. The whole project is free to use and abuse. But if you just wanna know how this motion is being done, then stick around because that's kind of easy to do. This is one up indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing of course so the idea is kind of simple we need to have an anchoring point where we want to start from and then we are spawning a bubble so here it starts at this point and then we need to get from this spawning point which is anchoring the the whole bubble uh, a distance and then towards a specific angle so for example here this would be 45 degrees this would be 90 this would be zero degrees and therefore what we're gonna do is create on well four of these dudes with the same distance from each other of course this is a little bit more than shown and then with a specific angle so basically we are just saying that cool let's have from the starting point with the, with the same distance left right and up and down and then give it a starting an angle so basically this would be 90 uh, this one is 0 this is 180 and then the bottom one is 270 and this is how it works and then what we're gonna do is because the calculation is in, in this little thing here we just update for everybody and add to the starting angle a little bit and then we just move counterclockwise well with all of our bubbles and this is the whole theory and the whole practice in a few minutes so for that first of all we need our bubbles and they have two things which are kind of important to have you can directly stick them to the player which is possible if you like but uh, yeah we're just gonna do it do it like this so basically we just need one variable angle and then um, we set it to zero as a start value and then in our step event of the bubble we just update it and for example if we just go equals plus equals 5 then it means we are moving counter clockwise so she comment that here sweet counter clockwise yeah that should be okay um, and then we want to update our X and Y position and how do we want to do that all the time so we just say like hey we need a starting point so this would be for example our player X. I would highly recommend to do that with a variable to stick to but this is then part of the full project if you want to check this out and then we just go a length here because length here is how we do the magic from our starting position to well a specific distance or length uh, let's go 80 here let's go 80 here and then for example with the angle which we are updating all the time this is then just basically it. and then we can do the same stuff for well our y value and then length here y and here we're gonna buffer it a little bit so let's go a little bit upwards because our dude is centered at the bottom but it looks a little bit better if we are going a little bit upwards so it is well, looking nicer but this is just the cosmetics okay so we are pretty much finished with the bubble and then we need to I don't know create those bubbles so what you can do is basically have uh, instance uh, well, creation upon for example uh, pressing a button so let's go with control and here we're gonna create a few bubbles and store them into a variable so for example we're pressing control and then we say like var bubble one and then we are creating it and then for example we say like hey let's give it a different kind of angle here we go and set this one to zero so here nothing changes but for example we can do that for the second the third and the fourth so here we just 
change very quickly the numbers and then for example we are of course changing the start angle and then we are pretty much finished this is the whole thing 90 degrees 180 and 270 and for example once we are in once we started we got our effect so we got our dude and then this is of course a little bit unfortunate <laughs> because the bubbles are animating so let's remedy that very very quickly so image speed is equal to zero so let's check this out my bad and here we go and then we got a rotating bubble shield which is as you can see following us correctly of course if you could if you could jump and so on we do that but I'm kind of cheating here as you can see there's no real gravity and so on but this is how the rotating bubble shield the orbit the how, how, how was that called the circular orbiting thing <laughs> object well how that works in game maker student then later on you can do a little bit more if you like hopefully that helped you out and see you in the next video tutorial bye bye